Hi guys, welcome to channel Learn, Learn with W3 Schools. Today we're going to talk about XML parser. Now, XML parsers are quite essential and important to use when we are working with XML. So let's begin. My name is Dr. Shanbadi. You're here for the first time, want to learn XML and all about coding. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. A quick disclaimer, this is not an official W3 Schools tutorial, nor is being sponsored by them. I just like to use this website uh, for reference. It's an amazing tool. All major browsers have a built-in XML parser to access and manipulate the XML. The XML parser is actually the DOM object model, which de where defines the properties and methods of accessing and editing an XML. However, before an XML document can be accessed, it must be loaded into an XML DOM object. Okay, so all modern browsers have a built-in XML parser that can convert text into an XML DOM object. How does it being used? Let me show you. So what we do is we go talk, take this example. Okay, so this example basically takes the string into an XML DOM object and extracts the information from it using the JavaScript. So what it does is we have a standard JavaScript code with an HTML. So we take an IP demo, which is becomes an ID. Now we have a script tag. Within the script tag, we define a variable text parser and XML doc. So the text parser has contains a special XML document. Okay, that contains a bookstore, a book, title, author, year, book, and bookstore. So this is a standard XML document that we are basically going to use. So the parser is equals to new par DOM parser is used using this variable. This method is actually the one that we are going to talk about. This is called XML parser. Okay, this parser uh, function of this parser object will basically be able to pass this XML document. To do that, we use the XML doc and we're going to use this parse dot parse from a string text comma text xml this parser method that we are using from this parser object from parse string is again a default method that exists inside this dom object so we have we create an object we assign the object to this parser variable so this we then use this parser variable and access the parse from string method we give it this string that we created just right now so this is passed to this variable here and we specify the metadata that hey this is a text slash xml then we go into document dot get element by id so we say hey inside this document there's an element called demo which is this one and we're going to say dot inner html go change its inner html is equals to xml doc which is basically this variable now get element by its tag name so this is a default method that we use and now we have an xml we access the elements within it and we say hey find out the title with uh, the zero child node zero and node so this is going to access the title with a child node zero and the value so the details will be printed here so this is how basically we parse the content again the key main thing to understand here is that first we use the object then we use the parse string method third we use this string to read the data from this string method okay so we create an object we parse from use this parse from string method for from this object we give it the string that we want to pass which is this one then we use xml doc get element by tag name title zero child name zero value value so zero is basically index that will point to the first index element that we have available here okay so this is at a zero index so it's going to say hey find me the title at a zero index find its child nodes and then dot node value so the node value will be everyday italian this is going to get printed so this is what we use for our standard things to explaining it this is our text string okay so this becomes our standard text string that we're going to use then xml doc parser is created in this case parser is equals to new dom parser we create the object the second step the third step is using the parse from string method to parse each string so this becomes important thing once we have a string which is a simple xml document this can be loaded by default or using a, any other uh, server side language that can return the xml document we create an object we use this method to process this particular string here once this is done then we use xml uh, and we use the standard javascript to pass this content okay now let's talk more about this xml http request object which has a built-in parser method now if you want to learn more about xml http request object i just posted a video about this uh, recently so do check that video out you can find it on the i or in the description below now this xml dot object has a built-in parser method the response text pro property returns the response as a string and the response xml returns the response as an xml object so this method has a built-in parser that returns a response text and the response xml so if you want to use response as an xml dom object you can use the response xml property which is this one how we access it so for example if i have this code here and if i view this code now in this this is a standard html we have a button so when i click on the button it will go and fetch the content 
how do we fetch the content so we create a paragraph tag where we want to display the content in our page we use on click method load xml document this is a javascript function so which we create here so when i click on this button here this function will execute which will basically call this method here which is under the script tag function load xml document so this is standard javascript function nothing to be too big about it once we are here then we create xml http on the ready state uh, sorry first we create xml http is equals to new uh, http request object okay this http request object like i've mentioned in the previous lecture as i said i've already uploaded i've talked about this how we access it so we create an a request object we create an on the ready state change so that if, if we receive a response from the server this method will be executed and then we call the server and ask for some response so xml http dot open meaning we are asking the server to send us the data in this case we are reading an xml document then we send the data so once we receive a response from here which becomes true then this method will be called function meaning the state has changed it will check the state if the state is 4 and 200 meaning that we have response we have received the response then it's going to call this my function so this my function again is this function here so we declare another function that is going to be actually doing the text processing for us in this case we have a couple of variables xml document dot xml the response so we create the xml response here so we use the default xml object that's here that has been returned to us using this content so we say xml dot response uh, give it to this xml variable the text variable is none again the same thing get element by id artist so we get an element by id artist which exists in this xml document we process and read the child notes using a loop so the all lot and child notes can be read and then we're going to print this text on our console okay so if i execute this code now you see that all the artist lists are printed within our code so what this is again typically doing is it's reading an xml document using http request that is in cd catalog.xml it's reading this xml document once the document status is true it's calling a function this function then uses xml response object with the http request to read the content and then using this xml doc we get element called artist and then we, we loop through this element of artist to print each element which is again x becomes the xml document x go through its each child node at the zero index and print the node value with the br tag so that everything is printed on a new line simple as that so this is how we get to print and reuse our xml parser okay so if you have any further questions or if you would like more explanation on this or a few more examples how we use xml parser and xml parser with http request object do leave a comment below so i can make more appropriate videos or more detailed videos for you to understand this is dr shan signing off